Hello guys, me Car Santos, aka Apple Car Night 5, and I'm gonna do a new game that I'm gonna review. So, it's Madden NFL 21. So, as you've seen, I've done a few of these football games the, the past few months, but I haven't done one in a while. So, so basically, this is like career mode, you know? Face of the franchise, they say, but and before I let you guys watch this whole lengthy video that takes around 45 minutes, all I can say is I just pick the important scenes that'll make you go, wow, this guy's incredible. And you know, from college to the pros, it's not that very easy to know that making to the big leagues it's gonna be tough you know and and the position I chose is quarterback so yeah I'll be quarterback throughout the game and well basically through the face of the franchise mode basically like you'll see cutscenes where I might struggle to find my fit with my friends, you know, that help me along the way and realize my potential is there. So, all I can say is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So, the first chapter of this Madden NFL 21 career mode takes me to, I believe, AT&T Stadium where the home of the Dallas Cowboys hold their football games so so it's the Michigan State Spartans and the Florida Gators so so I'm gonna leave it here for you guys to watch the whole thing so I know that the game was you know I forgot when it was uh what's that war Release, yeah. The game was released in late August during the COVID-19 pandemic, but things have slowed down a bit, and basically the majority of Americans got vaccinated, so. So, I want you guys to sit back, relax, and enjoy this video, because I know you guys play for the phrase in the franchise if you guys subscribed to my channel for a while, but, but for the big football vloggers or the YouTubers, you know, they probably give you tips of how they breeze by this career mode or face of the franchise. So, so I make you have current life up. Y'all have a great day and peace out. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way. Right? We are seeing an offensive line. As this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. A gain of three, second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Jennings down to the six yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. The tackle made. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. From the gun on third down, Santos. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. That's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. And his kick is indeed good. And the opening drive of the game yields three. 
Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. At their own 25-yard line. down young and from the 25 they work this to the 29 a gain of four at the 29 call it a gain of four on first and that'll make it second down second and six wade in the gun it's right side dixon First and ten at the 38. Operating from the gun, Wade. Harris hands it up the middle. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pickup there, 21 yards. Ten at the 42-yard line. On first and ten, Wade. Short one here, complete to Dixon. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Brandon, they didn't get everything they wanted out of that play. It's now but the tight end did. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a positive way. Great job of him holding on after absorbing that big hit. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against him. Decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. On fourth down, Wade. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And finally taken down at the 15. That one good for 17 yards on fourth. Couldn't ask for much more from your offense there. First down. On the ground, they go with Young. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Tim Young, the ball carrier, taken down at the 14-yard line. A gain of a yard brings up second and three. Nothing three. after one on EA Sports. The first quarter with the score: Gators three, Spartans nothing. Off the option, he'll try and run with it. And he will take this in for a Michigan State touchdown. Taking it in for 14 yards out. And Michigan State has taken the lead. Michael Schottenheimer for the end. Defensively, they told us that the top priority was defending option plays this week. But he, oh, this is blocked. This is going the other way. He's got the lane, and there he goes. He's at the 50, 30, the 20. Oh, you got to feel it, baby. all the way into the end zone, and that's two points. <laughs> Following the botch PAT, they're set to kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a good-looking return set up here. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Gator offense about ready to get this next drive started. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of it. They'll take it. Just out of the way you can even describe it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. This is Ellington. And it's first to their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. And Jones has it over the middle. And he's got this 
down to the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. If I can put my defensive cap on right now, I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you try not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Looking to throw on second down. Wayne got his man complete over the middle. That's Young. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. First and 10 now for the Spartans. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. To throw on second down. Wayne. Flush to his right. This will be caught at about the five. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. We knew he was close to the line of scrimmage, and they say he stepped over. Well, when you see him in that position, you think he's become a runner. As a DB, you start to react towards the line of scrimmage. They can often throw it over your head. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. Take over first and ten at their own victory. Very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Today's finals. What a great start to the season here, the college football kickoff classic, and for the junior quarterback, a first start and a first win, and a very big win at that. You all right? I'll be fine. I was you last week. I know exactly what you're going through. You didn't have to sit through this championship game, though. Tonight here at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara for the college football playoff national championship game. As we'll see the Nebraska Cornhuskers taking on the Florida Gators. Okay. You wonder if the pressure may be getting to this young Gator quarterback. They trail at the break. Just one half remains in the college football season as we begin the second half of this national championship game. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Gator offense about ready to get this next drive started. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done in trouble and he's taken down. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. Looking to throw on second down. Santos. And that'll be incomplete. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion, it's caught inside the 25. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. And some room to roam now. And he is in. Touchdown, Gators. Taking it in from 24 yards out. And the Gators have jumped out in front. Well, after the departure of Tommy Matthews at the half, the offense able to regroup and put the football in the end zone. Yeah, that's something they couldn't accomplish in the first two quarters of this game. So finally, finding their way downfield. I think Coach Red O'Brien, he hadn't shown a preference for either quarterback. But this kid who's out there right now, one thing we know about him, he's a fighter. Yeah, he, you're exactly right. I was just going to say that, Charles. He, he's a fighter, and he does have plenty of upside. We know that he can lead. You and I sitting with him this week. Didn't you just see a guy who could step into any locker room and control the presence of his teammates? I just remember when we left that room, you said two things to me. 
I think this kid's gonna be poised under pressure. And to me, he's a natural leader, and I concur with both of those statements. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. What we've seen so far in this game, they are not going to allow a big shot over the top. You can have whatever you want underneath. They'll give you that, but they're not gonna let you beat them deep. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. At the 46-yard line. On first down, they go with Dixon. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. For the Cornhuskers program, obviously so rich in history, great players, legendary coaches throughout the decades. It's almost surprising that this is their first foray into the college football playoff as they seek their sixth national title. Remember, they won back-to-back -back titles in the 70s, 70 and 71, and then three times in the 90s, 94, 95, and most recently, 1997. And seven. Third down, Lynch. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That one good for 15 and a first. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. A shotgun handoff now, Foster. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Second and six. Out of the gun, Lynch. And his throw here's incomplete. pass. Intended for number Just work with me a second here because in my lifetime, seeing how quarterback percentages have changed in throwing the football, I mean, back in the good old days, if you were around 50%. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep the, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them. Right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing. The O-line coach will. That was a kicker from that distance, 56, 57 yards. So many things you got to worry about, but I am a little surprised he didn't get it there. Yeah, with the way kickers are nowadays, we're surprised anything under 65 that it doesn't get at least to the crossbar. But remember this, you have to drive it a little bit lower in order to make that distance, and you also have to be worried about the interior rush that they can get their hands on it. So that's why those stronger kickers nowadays who can pop it up in the air and still travel and carry it. That's who you're looking for. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Santos. The open man is Smith. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Better than a 30-yard gain as we wind down towards 30 seconds left in the quarter. Throwing on first down. Santos. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. It's a gain of five on the play, and that'll make this a second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 23-yard line. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. He'll get this one to Galladay. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 11 yards there, first down. First and 10 at the 12-yard line. Now Ellington. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. It's on the pickup. It's second and eight. Operating from the gun, Santos. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, Florida. Lincoln Smith there to make the grab. And 
the Gators push that lead out a bit further. Well, since he's coming to the game at quarterback, two trips into the end zone, and this offense starting to look remarkably relaxed. I love that description because it's evident to me, and it's evident to everyone watching, and now everyone's getting the memo. He's not a backup. He's played just as much as Matthews has this season. Yeah, that's the thing, Charles. There's the old adage of if you have two quarterbacks, you have none. Well, I think they're just they're, they're taking that script and throwing it right out the window because they're saying we've got two quarterbacks and we like them both. I love the way you just said that. Not in this case does the old adage hold up. I think we've got a new one. They feel like they've got two good quarterbacks and the offense should respond no matter who's on the field. Exactly. Pass there over the middle to start things out. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Not much there, only a yard. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. From the shotgun, it's Lynch. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Grant. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's good. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. 42-yard line. A gain of four. It's now second and six. To throw again is Lynch. Over the middle of the plate. That's Carter. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 yards there, first down. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. Lynch to throw again. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Intended for number 12. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Delayed give to Foster. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. Carrier. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. And now on third. So start the celebration in Gainesville. For the first time since 2008, the Florida Gators are national champions. And celebration time on that sideline. It took a change at quarterback. His thoughts will turn to the condition of Tommy Matthews. But for now, jubilation as they are the national champions. Tommy's injury certainly was a setback. But the bond that these two kids have is really strong. I think there's only one individual on everyone's mind tonight. This one's for my brother, Tommy Matthews. Hey, man. Promise me one thing. Anything. That you'll come back next year and make him win the championship together. Next year? Uh, let's just focus on getting you healthy. One day at a time. Is that him? How could you possibly make that decision after the title game? Is Tommy even going to be able to play? Yeah, I spoke with his doctor. Uh, valve replacement surgery was great. He's going to be right as rain. I just don't understand. I know this is hard for you. It's, it's hard for you to process, and, and I hope you believe me when I say that I take no joy in making this decision, but I stand firmly behind it because, frankly, Tommy's a better fit for the offense. Well, what does this mean for me? Well, it, uh, it means that you are at a monumental crossroads in your life, and got two choices you can enter the draft and based on what you did last year I'd say you'd be lucky to get picked in the third round but realistically you're looking at a late round selection if at all jeez don't sugarcoat it for me well I'm trying to be open and honest with you from this moment forward I'm giving it to you as I would my own beloved son and my 
my other choice? Well, the way I see it, you got too much raw athleticism to waste sitting on the bench. Your talent is a true gift. And it's one that I'm gonna give you the opportunity to show it to the world. And how's that? You get to pick a new position on offense and get your heartbreak kids thing going back again. Heartbreak kids. <laughs> I appreciate the faith, Coach, but if I'm gonna play QB at the next level, seems like leaving now is my only shot. Uh, that's probably
Welcome to the 2020 NFL Draft. You can toss those babies out the window. And we're back in the fourth round of the draft. The talent herd is beginning to thin, but there are still some real studs out there. Hey, this is Washington's offensive coordinator. How are you feeling right now? Oh, everything's great, coach. Look, son, we've been following you for quite some time, and we believe you could be an integral part of this team. Thank you, sir. Thank you so, so much. I can't tell you how much this means to me. And I'm ready to do whatever it takes to show you I'm worth your pick. <laughs> I know you. I'll expect you to show up ready to go. I'll be the first one there. Can't wait. And I'm just getting confirmation that the pick is in. Let's take it to the podium to see who the next pick in the draft is going to be. What a phenomenal pick. This kid has shown some elite abilities on the field. He's a freak athlete, totally capable of taking over a game in the right system. This is the player card. Here you can see your strengths and weaknesses by looking at your archetype ratings. This is your development trait. Superstar and Superstar X Factor players will progress faster over time. You can improve your development trait by being one of the top performers in the league at your position. At your first training camp, who helped you adjust to NFL life? No matter how ready you think you are, nothing really prepares you for the big leagues. So I appreciated having him as a guy. I didn't realize just how much impact it would have over the course of my rookie year, on and off the field. Well, we finally get to see at least one of our beloved Heartbreak kids in action on the field. Look, I'm a founding member of the Heartbreaker fan club, going all the way back to their high school days. So needless to say, I for one have been dying to see them step onto an NFL field and show everyone what they can do since we last saw them lighting the world on fire in the college ranks. But as excited as I and the rest of the Heartbreakers are to see them take the field, it's a moment we may all have to wait for until next season. Veteran players were encouraged to mentor the new guys on how to succeed and push us to be competitive, even in the preseason. I appreciated that he took me under his wing, and our extra reps after practice helped me get dialed in. All right, fellas, listen up. Last practice of the week. We've had a good week so far. Let's make sure we finish the same way. we got a game on Sunday. This is I 
have it at the time. It was the first of many moments that would eventually snowball into something much bigger. And I'm back. So if you guys saw the Spartan and Gator game. I also included the Nebraska and Corn Huskers game, the NFL Combine, and the NFL Draft. So we're gonna fast forward since I kind of wanted to choose the Washington football team. So I drafted. I got drafted to that team, but I'm not sure what round I was in. So. Basically, we're just, oops, <laughs> copyright. So, it's going to be between the Detroit Lions and the Washington football team, and here we go. So, and then I, hmm, looks like that player's going to kneel and go beyond how many yards? 25 yards? Yep. And I'll be the quarterback, so let's see this first play. And then I run, run the ball. Ooh, man, that was a nice game. I'm telling you, man. That was really impressive. I mean, to tell you the truth, I've I've been really impressed with the controls of Madden NFL, I'm telling you. Like, with the left joystick, I can just pass it wherever I want, and then... Uh, and then with the right trigger, I can just throw a Hail Mary, to tell you the truth. I mean... I can just throw bombs away like 50 yard throws and all that and that's what you have to do in football throw Hail Marys all day every day and you'll eventually get players like McLaurin and Allen Robertson to catch those passes and go for touchdowns so, so basically you have goal objectives to get those incentives into your your, com your contracts, yeah, that's the word, contracts, to f fulfill them and actually, you know, make lots of money doing it, but we're not going to talk about money here, so that's out of the question, so, so basically, I have nothing much to say, but, but I'm in the red zone. So um, let's see if I can get this touchdown. Yep, run the ball again. Let's see if I can. Uh, hmm. It doesn't say the goal objective on the bottom of the screen, so. So, Andrew, watch my face in the franchise stories. You'll, you'll real. Why didn't I get the touchdown? Do I just have to throw it to a receiver or a tight end or running back? <coughs> oh, bless you. Hmm, incomplete. Let's see if I can throw another or throw a touchdown. Ooh, man. 
Didn't make it to the end zone. That's gonna be my next play. Hmm. Make a trick play out of it. Ooh, oh man, I get sacked. And it's gonna be. I can't say first and ten. Yeah, I get it. It's gonna be Detroit's ball. Ugh. So there you have it, so not much on defense because I'm not the one in possession, so I only play offense, so that's basically it. Enough commentary for today, so if you if you love the video so much, give a thumbs up button. If you want to subscribe for more content, click on that bell button right in there below the bottom right corner of the screen I believe and if you want to share a comment co comment down below the description and I'll be quite sure that I'll catch up with you whenever possible so make it happy Corona Night 5 if you enjoyed it so much rate it a 5 or a scale of 1 to 5 so 5 of being up and possibly 1 being down so Make happy turn on that five. Y'all have a great day and peace out. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. First down, Detroit. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. the gun Stafford he'll get this one to Galladay and they're going to have another first down here as the tackles made at Washington's nine yard line 28 11 yards there first down first down Lion they run out of the gun with Swift and taking it to the 15 yard line before he's brought down another nice gain 13 yards that time and another first down a gain of 13 yards and the Lions first down they'll run here with Swift and this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11 maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive here second and 11 and a double coverage and it's intercepted Picked up by Nikel Roby Coleman. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Interception. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. Looking to throw on second down. Santos out of the backfield. That's complete to Camara. Call it a gain of three. And it'll be third and ten now. Brings up third and nine. Operating from the gun. Santos. James has it. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That third down conversion good for 23. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there, finding him in stride for really good yardage. Now a man open. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now. So click on that thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you have any thoughts or feelings about the most recent YouTube video you just saw, share a comment right below the description so I can share some thoughts and feelings with others in the community and make them feel welcome. So, I'm AKA Happy Carnot 957. Y'all have a great day and peace out.